to mitigate that, they were they were relieving the pressure on the main fault line by blasting the smaller ones and letting the pressure equalize out. Now, the Israelis have come up with a better system, as I understand. They drill, I, I don't seen, they? I, I think they do go down deeper, yeah. No. And uh, because when you're, when you're blasting at the surface, it's not as good as getting down, you know, like um, a kilometer or so, to, so the shock wave does what you want it to. Amazing. It's so fascinating, not just from the perspective of, ooh, this is scary. We're on a planet in space with molten lava just a couple miles under us. I mean, it's just so amazing. We'll be back with Stan Deo. I'm Alex Jones. StanDeo.com. We're at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Spread the word. This is important. They want to start war with Russia even more. I mean, this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Stan Deo is our guest. I want to get his take on things that are geopolitically happening right now uh, as well after he finishes up with earthquakes. But we got to get him on more than once a year. Stan Deo is a really interesting, really informative guy. StanDeo.com. We're going to go back to him here in just a moment. First off, um, I was thinking about the month of February. And we've got super male vitality, super female vitality. It's not a herbal Viagra. I mean, we don't advertise it as that but obviously they've got estrogen mimickers uh in a lot of the food a lot of the plastics were being bombarded with it this stuff was designed by dr group cold press the purest ingredients i think it's 16 ingredients in the male i think it's 18 in the female that just supercharge your normal glands this does not mimic testosterone or other key compounds it simply gets your body to release it according to dr group's research all I know is it works like a charm. Back when I was uh, playing football some in high school and in college, I never took any illegal stuff, but I went to GNC and got some of the herbal Yohimbi and stuff, and it made me a little bit bigger, but made me feel crazy and feel terrible and have hot flashes. So I never stayed on that stuff more than like a week. Super male, I can just take twice a day, just I, more energy, I'm more aggressive, I feel great, uh, my libido's off the chart, and I mean, off, I mean I'm... Worse than I was when I was 18. I mean, it, it's it's amazing. And similar formulas that aren't as good cost $100. This cost uh, half of that. And then you got 20% off in the month of February on super male and super female vitality. The perfect gift on Valentine's Day. We could ship this out in a day or two if you order it so we can, uh, you know, Order it, you'll get it for Valentine's Day, or or order it, and you know. Uh, but it, it's not about the libido situation. That just goes with it. It's the energy. It's uh, I've lost weight. Uh, I've got more stamina. I'm just in a great mood, and I've never run into anything herbal that does anything like this. And it's because we don't put the cheap trash in there that just increases testosterone. It, it doesn't do that or mimics it. These herbs just get your body to, just get your glands excited. I'll, I'll t and there's nothing like the real thing. There's nothing like good old-fashioned real stuff that's in you. Infowarslife.com, 20% off. We also uh, have the special where you can get a bottle of Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Booster that's got just a whole bunch of well-known herbs that supercharge uh, the body's own natural immunities. But these are also high-quality but low price ones. So we can offer it uh, for $14.95, even though leading competitors are $30 to $40 to $50 for something similar. $14.95 for a high-quality but good value product. Or get two bottles of Survival Shield Nascent Iodine X2 and get a free bottle of Ancient Defense to try it out absolutely free. And during these winter months, folks are crazy if they don't try to boost their immune system with vitamin C, sunlight, uh, having a good time, having a good attitude, praying, all the studies show that, uh, getting your guts flushed out, getting that healthy with the Oxy Powder, available at InfoWarsLife.com. And I want to thank you all for your support. When you buy these products, you're not just getting high-quality products at very affordable competitive prices. Uh, you are funding a savage operation. I mean, I'm just not going to pull punches. I'm crazed. I hate tyrants. I'm kind of natural. I mean, you read back to folks that fought King George or people that fought other tyrants. I mean, they were more crazed than I am. I'm, I'm a wimp compared to these people. And they were so angry, they'd haul guns 100 miles through the snow with no, with no shoes with a trail of blood behind them. Because back then, shoes, you know, broke down in slush. They were leather-bottomed. I mean, I couldn't do that. 
I mean, uh, so so I'm nothing compared to our ancestors, and compared to most people, I'm a crazed Tasmanian, you know, devil or something. Well, no, I'm not. I'm into interesting things. I want freedom. I want to sell people high quality products because I'm a moral person. But not, if I was immoral, I want it to be the best stuff out there. So you keep buying it. I can't believe. I'm gonna go back to our guest. <sighs> Now, in the last 10 years being into supplements and, 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 and working with Longevity, because they are a high-quality, trusted company with InfoWarsHealth.com, and then finally come out with my own line, that, that there are so few other really reputable groups out there. I go to these biggest manufacturers that have you know high-quality stuff that we can get, and they say, we've never seen anyone put this much high-quality stuff in something like DNA Force. I mean, we love what you're doing. But you're just beyond the quality of anything we've ever heard with what you're doing. Most of these big names, slick bottles, beautiful models, you know, national TV ads, they'll put like a dollar worth of product in a bottle that costs 30-something cents and then spend $5 a bottle on marketing and sell it to you for 50 bucks. DNA Force has over $50 of product in each bottle. And then we mark it up. The average stuff, we average have about a 50 to 100% markup. The average, the industry standard is a seven-fold markup. Seven times. That's crazy. So that's why we're the best. We are the best. I only promise you the best. Infowarslife.com. That's why we're turning heads. Big time. You can also call to ask any questions or order over the phone. 888-253-3139. Uh, you can, uh, again, go to standao.com and find out about all of his very interesting work and black projects and more. But, Stan, thanks for being on hold during that break and plug. Let's go. And, and, of course, people can find all your books as well there and a lot more. But before we go any further, let's get back into earthquakes, hit the most important points. I've asked a lot of the questions now. You kind of cover some of the other areas of what's happening with the Earth's um, crust, what's happening inside of it, the pole shift, all of these things. Uh, that are just out of this world but are really happening. And then let's get into your view. Geopolitically, it seems like all hell's breaking loose. And I, and I know you're a smart guy and have a lot of contacts on that front. What's happening? Stan Deo. Okay, first on the earthquake situation, while we were having the break there, I uploaded an image of something I think you, you and your listeners will find very, very interesting. It's on the fracking sites in the United States, a map published uh, by the industry April last year. Fourth row from the bottom on the right-hand side, it says Fracking USA. And if you click on that map, all the green dots you see are where they are fracking into oil wells or gas wells, etc. And when you look at the earthquakes today through Dallas down through San Antonio and beyond, you will see that to the right of that, they are fracking the heck out of it all the way over into Louisiana and up at Oklahoma City. You'll see they've started, not, not only they got fracking all around Oklahoma City and north of it, you'll see that there is a finger of fracking going out to the right through Arkansas, just like I was telling about along that fault line, right into the New Madrid fault line. And in West Texas, there's a whole cluster out there. Don't know why they're doing that so much, uh, unless it is for oil and gas, but these others in the in the plains of Texas, the coastal plain region, and in Louisiana, you know, and uh, part of Mississippi, that tells you that they're, they're, they're taking a great risk pulling it out there because those are very, uh, uh, well, laced areas with fault lines because of various activities. And that by the way, have. five years ago, I heard you on Coast to Coast AM. I'm, I'm not tooting your horn. It's just no brag, just fact. I heard you with George Norrie saying you believed fracking was connected to earthquakes. And now, top scientists agree in the last year, we have an ABC News headline uh, that uh, fracking is connected to the earthquakes in Texas. Yeah, yeah. Look, I, it's uh, it's a, a minor victory to to be saying that. I'm sure that that uh, the geologists knew it at the time, but it took this long for them to be able to say it publicly. I think without getting in too much trouble. I interrupted. Please continue. Okay. Well, that that's all. I I just wanted to show you that uh, on that fracking map that it's quite interesting that they're doing it on fault lines uh, and certainly the, the coastal plains of uh, Texas uh, and into Louisiana, Mississippi. These were all lowered and damaged by the Chicxulub meteor impact in the Gulf of Mexico, you know, long, long time ago, which shoved up shockwaves up into Texas. So it already is a weak area. And I just... Uh, 
you know, I don't know whether they're weighing their 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 need for the gas and oil from those fields against uh, uh, trying to avoid any subsidence or earthquakes in the area. I just don't know. But that map, when I look at it, it just uh, stands out in your face that there's something big going on in those areas. Anyway, that's that's earthquakes. Uh, what are other hot areas in the world or in the United States for seismic activity? Well, uh, we have. Um, Let's see here. Let me see if I can just pull it up. Alaska, of course, is, is always ongoing. Um, the one that I watch the most is right up near Eureka, California, off the coast. There's a long ridge that comes in out of the North Pacific. It's called the Mendocino Ridge, or fault line, but it's a ridge. And as it joins into California, Eureka, it's at the very foot of something called the Juan de Fuca Plate. And people, geologists, have been watching this for years in comparison to all of the other fault line locations around the entire uh, Pacific Rim, you know, the Ring of Fire. And the only area that has built up this much pressure, uh, you know, here at uh, like, like a Richter 9 or plus earthquake is right here at the foot where the Mendocino Ridge comes into Eureka. And this is what you seen. said last year is this is the only area in this big Ring of Fire that hasn't yet triggered. That's right. It's over 55 years overdue uh, by their estimates. And so that there alone tells you that, oh, uh, maybe they're not quite that accurate. So it's a guess. And it is. And I, in their defense, it is the best guess they can make. What would happen if it fully triggered? We're talking about an, uh, an eight, a nine? Yeah, you are talking about a nine. And... Uh, that would produce tsunamis along the coast there. Of course, uh, they would, it would hit Japan later, uh, you know, a few days And we've later been so tsunami. blessed. People go, oh, that'll never happen here. I know folks that have been in some of these LA earthquakes that are a lot, lot smaller, where highways collapse, hundreds die. Uh, I mean, folks, how many hundreds of thousands died in the tsunamis a decade ago or, or, or less, I guess, eight, nine years ago? Uh, people, I mean, this is happening all over the world. We've been very blessed not to be hit by what's hit Pakistan and Iraq and Iran and all these other countries that just get devastated. I mean, I've seen numbers of hundreds of thousands getting killed in earthquakes in places like Pakistan. You know, Alex, you chose the word blessed, uh, and I, I do agree. Uh, it is by the blessing of our Creator, God, uh, that we uh, have been uh, spared these things. But when we pull away from God, like we're doing now, due to the administration, you know, and all the changes they've made, uh, we can expect these things to fall upon us like judgments. You know, it, it's the blessing is being removed, I'm sure. You know, it is really true historically that when governments do really bad things, e even the pagans believe that if the government got real bad, that, that, that you know, they'd have earthquakes and volcanoes and all the rest of it. And uh, you know, the Bible says that, and people always poo-poo it. Uh, I just know that uh, it's uh, pretty interesting what's happening right now. Well, let's watch what happens in the Middle East. We can segue from here to politics, because if the United States is heavily involved, which it is, in the... the uh, partitioning the dividing of israel for a peace treaty between you know palestine and israel and uh, you, know, you know the rest of the arab nations if it is divided we can expect our country physically to be divided by earthquakes and damaging you know, geological events like volcanoes etc you're saying yeah. because that's in revelations or daniel or you, you no i'm just saying we've, we've observed that that uh, whenever we do something to hurt israel uh something of um uh, a measured response comes from God to our country, you know, a proportionate response. So wait for it. When we hurt Israel, we're going to get hurt. And this administration, I mean, gosh, I, I tell you what, if you go to the, uh, the my show image page, second row down, right in the middle, I have a picture of Patrick Stewart, you know, Captain Kirk in the, in the uh, movie they made, um, Star Trek First Contact. And he's saying there, this far and no farther, you know, they draw the line, and that's like in the Alamo. The, the line must be drawn here. We have got to stop this administration. Somehow, we must draw that line now. And I, I can't... I can't stress that enough. Well, there is, I mean, even for folks that don't like some of the things Israel's up to sometimes, they're different governments. Yeah. What's yeah. going on with arming all the radical Islamists, turning them loose all over Africa, the Middle East, trying to overthrow Egypt, and then, and then, and then criticizing Israel... I mean, that is what the White House has been doing. That's just insane. Well, the White House is uh, funding, um, you know, uh, the enemies of Israel. And uh, uh, even though, 
you say that there are good Muslims and then there are terrorist radical Muslims. When you fund those countries, it funds the radical segment more than it does the, the, the people, the Muslims of those countries that really just average everyday people. In Iran, we have to watch what the administration here does with funding uh, Qasem.